Hi everyone, today I'm going to create a weather card and forecast components for a weather application. I'll use Tailwind CSS to style the app. Let's take a look at the design. As you can see, we have a input and a button. You can change the city and press search button. And we have our weather card component and also forecast component. Let's go to the code and build our components. I launched my Visual Studio Code and uh, opened the uh, weather project. And uh, in previous video, I created a request to an API, to weather API, and uh, retrieved uh, the data and uh, added some basics, JSX and uh, styles. And uh, now I'm going to refactor my application and uh, add uh, more styles. And uh, let's start with uh, weather. And uh, I'm going to go to my source files and uh, inside components, I'll create weather card JSX. And uh, it will be functional component. And I'm going to create some function, function weather card. And uh, I'll return some JSX. Uh, for now, let's just take this code and uh, paste it uh, into our component. Okay, and uh, let's add more JSX. And uh, I'm going to add classes to my div container and uh, make it flex. And uh, also, I'm going to use column direction. It will add flex call. And, uh, so I'll add items center to align items by center. Okay, and uh, we have H2 tag, and uh, I'm going to change to tag type to LG large, and uh, font will be bold. And let me remove this. And uh, now I'm going to use. Uh, current weather name, but uh, we need to provide and add some props inside our weather card. Uh, let it be data. And, uh, let me add this uh, weather card component here instead of this. So I'm going to add uh, and probably we need export. Export. And now I can import it weather card and the uh, import was added here and uh, i need to provide data and the uh, data will be current weather okay and uh, now we can use our data and uh, i'm going to use object destructoring and uh, retrieve a name from data and uh, also we need main main and uh, also weather okay and uh, i can remove this current weather and uh, let's check what i have so far okay we have current weather and uh, let me change the city and think okay we have city and uh, now we can add we can just remove this current weather and uh, just leave name and uh, we'll add country. And uh, for country, uh, let's check our data. I'm going to open developer tools and check my network. And uh, let me change the city. Okay, and for weather, we have country in this. Okay, and uh, I need to give this data from weather data and I uh, use my country as country. Okay, let's check. And uh, we have country here. And uh, now let me add some data. I'm going to add h3, h3 tag and uh, use class name. and. Uh, let me make this text small and uh, 
for current data, I need uh, to implement some function uh, that uh, will get me the data and uh, for that uh, in source files, I'll create folder utils and uh, create file index js and uh, let's implement function i'm going to export it create const and uh, provide name get formatted date and we'll use current date const current date and i uh, will use new date to get time timestamp of current date and uh, now i can return current date and to local screen and uh, let's check what we have we can specify localists and uh, options and i'll provide such option and let's check what we have i'm going to use my function here inside code get okay get from my date and let me import it and uh, as you can see import was added and let's check and uh, we have a date but uh, i would like to change it and uh, let me change it and uh, I'm going to add options, const options, uh, and uh, specify format of our date. I'm going to use weekday, and uh, it will be short. And uh, also, I need month to get short months. And uh, also, I'll use day, and it will be numeric and also for our i'll use two digit and also i'm going to use minutes and also two digit and now we can provide our options let me change the name Oops. and and uh, i need to add comma here and uh, let's check what we have okay and uh, we have uh, our data date uh, in correct format and uh, let's build our current browser and uh, let's build the uh, current weather diff and uh, i'm going to let me add uh, h3 tag and uh, specify current weather and uh, so i'm going to add class names class name and uh, add margin top two margin button all and add font any bold and bold okay and uh, now we can create div div uh, with class name legs and uh, also flex items will be center and uh, also we'll just specify content by center and, uh, and add margin bottom for okay and uh, uh, that will be our container and uh, let me add image and uh, provide source and uh, as source, uh, I'm going to use uh, as this uh, URL from docs. And uh, I'm going to copy this URL and uh, add it to my services. I will uh, provide export const weather icon URL. URL. And okay i need to remove space and uh, now i can use it 
whether I can URL and uh, as you can see import was added and uh, as I uh, add I'm going to use weather and we have description inside it and let's check what it has so far okay and uh, we don't have image for now and uh, that's because we need to extend our URL and uh, I'm going to add value of weather icon URL and also I need another value of weather first item and you will use icon icon and uh, make uh, the icon 2x and add extension and also here we need first item and let's check again okay and uh, we have our image or icon and uh, now i'm going to add some temperature okay and i need to spend inside my div and, uh, let's use okay we have here temperature use it and uh, we have temperature or this I need to remove that and uh, let's add some styles class name and uh, provide text for XL and uh, make font bold and uh, also I'm going to add fading right X. okay let's check and uh, we have our temperature let's add our weather description some text about weather and uh, i'm going to use class name text right text right and uh, inside this div i will have a main i'm going to add spin and use a weather first item and inside it main and uh, so i can add some fields like inside spam and uh, provide fields like and uh, also add mass round and, uh, let's check our data we have weather inside mine and uh, we have fields like and uh, i'm going to use that and, uh, Right, main we we'll have main extracted from our object and to we'll have field flag and let's check okay we have clear and uh, feels like and uh, we need to add styles to it let me remove this paragraph and uh, for span for that span I'm going to make it block to behave as block and not being one line and also provide font and in bold and uh, also this uh feels like i also will make bold will make block block and let's add text small yeah, and let's check again okay and uh, we have our main and uh feels like okay and uh we can add some degrees and uh, i can copy paste but i can add some up tag and here close it tag and now i can copy paste it here and let's check okay we have our celsius and here and uh, i can remove Please. Uh, okay and uh, now we can provide additional weather details and uh, i'm going to add it here inside my container and provide div and uh, inside div i'll have another div and uh, here i'm going to add wind and make new line with this tag and uh, 
now I can use mass round and uh, I have oh, we need wind wind and uh, let's check what data we have inside the wind and so we have speed and uh, let me add this I'm going to use wind and uh, also speed let's check and we have wind and speed and uh, now let's add some stuff here and, uh, I'm going to make it flex and uh, make justify between and, and uh, make text small and uh, make full width and uh, mark width will be middle let's check again okay i need to move it out of my current weather section and add it here let's check okay we have a wind at the new line and uh, let me add more bits for weather details and uh, i'm going to add humidity humidity and uh, for humidity let's check data we have main humidity and uh, i don't need mass round here i'll use main and uh, add percent and uh, also i can add pressure pressure and uh, let's check data we have main pressure okay and I also don't need mass round, but I'll use main pressure and MB. And uh, let's check what we have so far. Okay, we have our additional data, and uh, let's add some um, class names, text, and, uh, and our oh, HDF. Okay, all looks good so far, and uh, now I'm going to create component for forecast. And uh, I'm going to create new file inside my components, and it will be forecast.jsx. And uh, it will be a functional component, and I'm going to use export function, function forecast. And, uh, I will need some forecast inside and uh, it will be a function and I'm going to return some JSX and uh, let's check our weather component and uh, I'll copy this code and paste it here and uh, let me change here to forecast forecast and close tag and uh, I can provide forecast data and uh, it will be forecast okay, and uh, as you can see import was added and uh, for forecast uh, I'm going to make it change some styles so let's check what we have and uh, we have uh, the same forecast as previously and uh, let's check let's change styles I'm going to change this to make text large and make font bold and to add margin button to and uh, we'll leave we'll leave this forecast and uh, also we need and uh, this uh, an ordered list uh, I'll change to div because uh, I'm going to make uh, it uh, in one a row instead of several rows rows and uh, let me do it and uh, i'm going to change to div and provide class name will be make it flex flex and also will make flex row and i will add some gap between in our divs and uh, i need to call this div 
and uh, inside I'll use also this inside or uh, instead of items and uh, for each div I need key and uh, provide index and uh, class name uh, let's change padding to 2 and add with 32 and uh, remove this background and uh, we'll leave rounded and let's leave shadow and uh, we can leave this paragraph and probably remove this text and uh, now I need to provide the data and uh, I'll use similar function as for get formatted data but I, I'm going to change format and uh, build a uh, return data based on provided timestamp time stamp. I need timestamp and uh, now I'm going to use data with my timestamp and uh, multiply by 1000 and change the name to get short date and uh, it will be just date and so here and uh, I'm going to change options uh, I'm I will not use here probably let's remove weekday I left leave only months day and hour and I uh, also don't need minutes and uh, inside forecast I'm going to use my get short date and provide forecast item and uh, let's check our data forecast data and for each item we have uh, this uh, date timestamp okay and let's check what I have and we have some errors because uh, I need to import it and the uh, import was added and let's check again okay we have our data and uh, some weather details and let's change and uh, I'm going to remove this div and leave portal and uh, provide more details let's add them below get short date and uh, I'm going to add some div and uh, inside div I uh, provide image and uh, I'm going to copy paste this image okay, and uh, paste it here and uh, I need to import this weather URL and uh, and uh, let's add object destructuring for our forecast item it will be much simpler to work with it I'm going to add return return and uh, add const const and uh, we need data time and uh, also weather and from our forecast item and uh, let's remove this forecast item and use and also uh, probably need main okay and we can remove this forecast item and uh, let's check what we have so far okay uh, I can remove this and uh, we can uh, make uh, our icon smaller by removing this 2x let's check okay we have smaller icon and uh, we need to justify it by center and uh, let me add some classes here class name and uh, we will need flex flex and uh, justify by center and uh, let's um let's add some margin button one okay and uh, we have centered icon and uh let's change uh, this temperature we'll use i will use probably paragraph and class name will be let's make it xl and uh the font bold and mass round main temp and 12 let's degrees and uh, okay and uh, instead of weather i'm uh let's leave probably weather but change description to main and uh, remove this weather 
import and uh, let me provide class name and make it semi font semi bulk and let's check okay we have our main our degrees and uh, let's add wind details to our forecast i'm going to add diff and uh, inside diff i'm going to use wind details and let me find it and uh, you can provide it like here and we probably need to destruct wind from weather forecast and let's check okay we have our wind and we can add meter per second and also we can add font class name and and probably let's leave it as it okay we have our cards and uh, now we can add uh, styles for uh, our this uh, for our components for forecast and cards and uh, i'm going to change weather and uh, add some diffs some containers for our weather card i need diff and i'll close diff here okay and uh, let me add class name and uh, i'm going to make background white white and to add some shadow and our middle and add some padding and make rounded large and uh, let's uh, add margin button to pull and uh, make it full width okay and uh, the same styles uh, i'm going to apply here for forecast okay, let's check okay and uh, we have our cards uh, and uh, inside some containers and uh, let me add the same container here for search box okay, and we have our search box We'll add container and let's check. Okay, and we can decrease padding to two. Okay, and uh, now I'm going to apply gradient to my body, and uh, you can check my video where I described how to make it. And uh, I'm going to use apply and provide background gradient and uh, i'm going to make it to bottom and uh, from color blue 300 to color blue 500 and uh, let me add min h screen and uh, we can remove this Styles from body. Okay, let's check. And uh, as you can see, we have our background and gradient was applied. And uh, let me close this panel. Check and provide city name. Okay, and uh, we have our card, weather card, and uh, also we have. Uh, small cards for forecast and uh, that's all that i had for today if you like the video subscribe to my tfpub channel like the video thank you for watching goodbye